to 3ds max news for the month of october on this video we will see all the news that we had during this month around 3ds max cool projects cool tutorials and free scripts so we will start with frame maker it's a script to create automatically different picture frames from your selected images it will automatically apply the correct aspect ratio for each image you will have multiple frames to choose from different colors and materials it supports corona v-ray and a standard material and it costs 18 dollars smart extrude by k studio is a simple script that improves the default extrude modifier in 3ds max over splines with multiple splines with different directions this modifier will be more accurate and smart choosing what should be the inside and outside of a wall for example it can also define the extrusion angle something that you cannot do on the regular extrude modifier it costs eight dollars alex guyen share for free copy pro it's a script to copy objects from one 3ds max scene to another very simple you simply select whatever you want in one scene you paste it in another scene he has tested this in max 2022 and max 2024 norberto aguilera share for free this scene that you can see it's a fan art from a star wars the different animations that you can see from a star wars characters can also be purchased on the website that you will have you will have the links to purchase this and to see the fan art on the description below this video for all my patrons you know that i am sharing a specific and exclusive content now you will see that we have a new area called collections it's a better way to find all the different tutorials that i have been doing for all my patrons we have over 60 or 70 tutorials and yeah it's way more organized this way you will see that this month I keep the series where I go over the different improvements and new options available in Typeflow, so you are up to date in a fast way. I will be covering whatever it's new, some other things that they are very important on the new workflows in Typeflow. We keep it all in a fast description way. And on our metal bending in Typeflow series that we had three videos so far, I added a new video explaining a new and very easy workflow for advanced metal deformation. And let's start with 3ds max is only for archbeath because this month we have plenty of things make originals keep rolling out funny short movie stories done 100 in 3ds max we have four episodes so far 30 seconds each with incredible quality and some of them i saw that they reached 1.8 million views in less than a month so check them out they are super funny some with uh, black humor like this one uh, loving it so far And the friends of Make also publish some making of in Facebook, where you can see the process creating the shorts. You can guess the effect is on all in Typeflow. On this example, they show a snow interaction, and it shows why I love 3ds Max for effects. Artists in other software, they will approach this in a very expensive, very slow granular simulation. But we are Max artists, and we really know how to cheat, and we cheat like a pros. Using a real-time deformation, as you can see, I, I cover tutorials doing that. It's simply very fast, real-time, soft selection and some push modifiers. You get the basics of it. Um, and then you can apply in top some RBDs on some simple particles done with Typeflow that is as well real-time. And then in top you add a Phoenix Sim in top and you get this great looking simulation that it's very easy to set up fast to iterate that is the important thing when we work on effects very easy to control and for sure easier and faster than a lengthy pvd simulation with a granular solver um, sometimes doing smart things for me it's better than trying to do lengthy and costly uh, heavy simulations a uh, great example of what 3ds max can do Xiaomi presented his foldable phone that it's called Mix 3 and the company Milark was in charge to do all the visuals for this presentation. Clean renders, awesome rigs, very cool details everywhere and going on the process reels we can see the ugly background gradient that tells us that this has been done with our favorite app. Not sure what they use for the effects, I can see the Typeflow menu on the viewport, but if anyone has more information, write it in the comments, I would love to know. 
All I can see is that they use 3ds Max and V-Rain. And more product visualization done in 3ds Max, also top quality. Mustafa Saki from Donostia, San Sebastian, it's in the north of Spain. It has a great quality Vimeo, where he has a lot of awesome car details done in 3ds Max, rendered in V-Rain. Looks like Mustafa specializing in car uh, rendering stuff and pretty cool things. And we changed to science fiction, where the user Anon created this cool futuristic scene. Modeling done between Max and Maya, textured in Substance Painter, and the scene assembly in 3ds Max and V-Ray. Great stuff made from one single guy. Uh, love the camera motion, love the cinematic of it. Uh, great stuff. Dorian Bushi shared his showreel. He is a 3D character artist and compositor. He has plenty of awesome rigs from different animals and very cool animations done by Dorian with a big variety of projects. Check it out, very cool stuff overall. And Beso Savanze showcased a very fun making of for a commercial done for visiting Abu Dhabi. They create a lot of dynamic cloth to create invisible people over a roller coaster, all done with Typhlow. Check it out on the Typhlow group. Uh, very cool. Also on the Typhlow group, Tomas created a very fun animation about a fish that, well, check it by yourself, I found it very fun, done as well in Typhlow. And Homar Machado is on a roll on a stack group in Facebook sharing all his car creations. As far as I know, Homar only does cars, creating and reimagining all types of futuristic, retro or different concept cars uh, lately, he's combining the cars created in 3ds Max with AI backgrounds to feel better the mood and I think it's a very cool way to use AI, not just to create the principal aspect of it, but to enhance whatever creation you do. And yeah, I think that uh, Homar has been doing one a week of these cars and very cool stuff. William Fiorentini did his first personal project in 3ds Max, rendered in V-Ray, and what a project to be the first one, uh, really great. It's a short animation of an industrial scenario looking very, very, very cool. And we have Lua Pele that created a commercial for, I don't know exactly what it is, looks like a cream. Uh, multiple cool effects, they use 3ds Max, wool machine for that rain, tie flow, and render it in F-Storm. Very nice things um, on this commercial. And we have some movies because Paul Osimo worked on Avatar, The Way of Water. Awesome movie. Let me know if you like it. I enjoy it a lot in the cinemas. I think it's the latest movie I watch on the cinema <laughs> and I like it, but I didn't come after that. Uh, they model this spectacular sea dragon that it's a characteristic uh, boat on the movie with also the collaboration from an old school 3ds Max user, Fausto De Martini, that we saw in other 3ds Max news. Awesome artists both, and yeah, great quality content. Even Avatar is done in Weta, and they are not known to use 3ds Max. Sometimes they ask to do the models on external companies, and they will be using 3ds Max. So, and let's go into games. T. Dorangeon shared his work on the Crew Motorsport Fest. He created for almost two years all types of vegetation for this game. Palm trees, ferns, bushes, weeds, Making sure it will work with the new and old gen graphics, he used Speedtree, 3ds Max, Substance 3D Designer, and ZBrush. We have Nier, an artist working for Airship Syndicate company. 
that worked on Bench, the Wayfinder. It's a low poly character with a lot of personality. He used 3D Max, ZBrush, 3D Coat, and Substance 3D Painter. And we got a new Assassin's Creed called Mirage from Ubisoft. Peter Svesdanov shared his work on this title, creating all types of assets and modular blocks to create these great city walls, using 3D Max, ZBrush, and Substance 3D Painter. And we got as well as Spider-Man 2, the video game. I really enjoyed playing the first one. The sensation of web sliding across New York, I found it incredible. I just need a PS5 to play this new game. But well, if it's as good as the first one, great game for sure. And as you can see, it has incredible animations. And we know that Norberto Aguilera, a very popular user on Stack, and we saw a lot of tutorials from him, and we saw it on multiple 3D Max news, uh, he worked on multiple animations for the game. Norberto is known to use Biped for everything. This month he published as well some sharks where he's using Biped in 3ds Max to animate all types of stylish, realistic things and looking very, very cool. As well, he's sharing a lot of them for free. And we have the learning section for the month of October. R. Sayan created a very detailed tutorial in, in how to get the same result in 3ds Max versus Substance Painter. He's using a lot of the new features in 3ds Max for this, the PBR importer tool or the new OCO possibilities in 3ds Max 2024, so pretty cool tutorial. We have Edwin Brown from Sebas Technologies that created different long tutorials covering his new tool Final Fluid. As you can see, Final Fluid is a real-time smoke solver using CUDA. If you are looking something like Axiom or Embergen, but inside 3 ds Max, Final Fluid is your tool. Very cool. I don't know if we talk too much about this. I use it during the beta really fast. You only need an RTX 3070, 3080, and yeah, this thing flies. And we have a short tutorial by Norberto Aguilera showcasing how to create stylized animations and timing fixes using Mixer in 3ds Max. As always, Norberto is very experienced with animation and yeah, here a cool tutorial from him. I'm sorry, I don't know how to pronounce your name, but share on a stack group a very short but to the point making off in how to create stitches in 3ds Max in a very, very smart way. Check it out, because it's very simple and looks really great. And we have our friend Chang So, that provided another tutorial covering USD in 3ds Max. It's the second on the series, and this time it's focused on USD stage. As always, providing a lot of information on in how to consume USD inside 3ds Max. Very complete tutorials covering, you can see it's a quite long tutorial, because in USD you can do a lot of things inside 3ds Max. And Chaos Group prepared a writer tutorial in how to create a very cool avalanche effect, as you can see here, very great looking effect. They are using Phoenix, V-Ray, Chaos Scatter, and Type Flow Free, that you can use Type Flow Free for a lot of things. Uh, very cool tool. And yeah, we have this very cool final result on this long tutorial. Um, yeah, this month, a lot of cool stuff. Not only on tutorials, but we get a lot of content on in 3ds Max. I hope that you like this section, guys. You know what to do. Please leave a comment, give a like, share it with your friends. Subscribe if you are not subscribed. And thanks a lot to all my Patreons that helps me a ton keep doing these videos. Uh, thank you a lot, guys. Much appreciated. See you soon. Bye.